so now how to find out this is root of 6 plus root of 6 plus root of 6 plus dash dash infinity see the first option may be 3 second option 2 third option is minus 3 fourth option is minus 2 so let us do it if the problem is given like this so first let us do the traditional method so that is ladder we go for easy method or shortcut method suppose first of all let us say x is equal to root of 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus dash dash infinity now squaring on both sides we get x square is equal to 6 plus root of 6 plus 6 plus dash dash infinity let us observe again this is x so we write x square is equal to 6 plus x bring x this side so x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation we have to solve it so now this can be written x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0 take x common x minus 3 plus 2 common x minus 3 equal to 0 now x minus 3 common x plus 2 is equal to 0 so now we get x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 2 here we get two cha choices x is equal to 3 x is equal to minus 2 which option has to be selected here if you observe the given problem in the given problem is nothing but a positive square root that means this answer must be positive so since x is positive means x is greater than 0 this x is equal to minus 2 should be neglected x is equal to 3 is the option so we know that the first option a is the first option but shortcut method let us do the second method that is easy method so easy method so these kind of problems can be dealt directly instead of actually we have to follow this method itself only basically to get the concept of the problem but while attempting in the examination we have to better to follow the easy method or we mean shortcut method so in this one we have 6 the 6 we have to write as the product of two consecutive numbers as a product of two consecutive numbers means this can be written 3 into 2 in 3 into 2 in two factors which is the actually greater factor greatest factor 3 so answer is 3 so that's all so third option is the answer seventh one root of 42 42 42 plus dash dash infinity is equal to a is 6 b minus 6 c 7 d minus 7 here let us follow directly shorter method so 42 we have to write as the product of two consecutive natural numbers so that means 7 into 6 here the greater one is 7 so answer is 7 c is the option so now how to find out this one 
square root of 7 plus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 dash dash infinity. So, in this case 7 is a prime number that cannot be written as a product of two consecutive numbers. Only that can be written in the form of 7 into 1 and 1 into 7. So, for that one we have to make a formulation. So, let us formulate first then after that we have to apply the that formula. Here let us formulate let us say x is equal to root a plus root a plus root a dash dash infinity where a greater than 0. Now, squaring on both sides. So, we get x square is equal to a plus square root of a plus square root of a dash dash infinity. We know this is nothing but x. So, this can be written x square is equal to a plus x. Bring a plus x this side. So, x square minus x minus a is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation in terms of x in variable x. Let us find out the x value. So, first in this case here a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1, c equals to minus a. Let us find out d b square minus 4 a c discriminant that will be 1 now plus 4 a. Now, x is equal to minus b plus r minus root d by 2 a. So, we can write 1 plus r minus root of 1 plus 4 a by 2. Since x greater than 0 positive here x is equal to 1 plus root of 1 plus 4 a by 2. Now, we can formulate it general formula root of a plus root of a plus root of a dash dash infinity is equal to 1 plus root over 1 plus 4 a by 2 here a greater than 0. So, now applying in this formula directly easy method for this one. a equals to 7. Therefore, 1 plus root of 1 plus 4 into 7 by 2. This is equal to 1 plus root 29 by 2. This will be the options. So, let us find out root of a, root of a, root of a, root of a dash dash n terms, n terms. So, let us formulate it after that we do some problems, some example problems based on this easy method. So, now So, this can be written this is a to the power of half, this is a to the power of 1 by 4, this is a to the power of 1 by 8, this is a to the power of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 16 dash dash n terms. So, this can be written bases are equal, so exponents are added. So, a to the power of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 dash dash n terms. 
So, if you observe this series, this series will be geometric progression. This is series will be geometric progression. We know in geometric progression, sum to n terms formula is a into 1 minus r to the power of n by 1 minus r, where r less than 1. So, now here a means 1 by 2, r is common ratio 1 by 4 by 1 by 2 that will be 1 by 2. Now, this becomes a to the power of here a is different, a is the first term of this one base is different. So, now half into 1 minus 1 by 2 power n by 1 minus half is half. This cancel we have a to the power of 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power of n. So, here after we can remember this one as the formula, we can formulate it root over a root over a root over a root over a dash dash n terms is equal to a to the power of 1 minus 1 by 2 power n where a greater than 0. Now, formulation has been done. 